I'm going to say something now. That, that, don't say it the wrong way. But you're not like a heavyweight. Heavyweight. You don't move like a heavyweight. You don't <laughs> fight like a heavyweight. You fight like you fight like a little bantam or something. When are you going to start boxing like a heavyweight with a big stiff jab? Never, never. You know, <laughs> some have been born with you know natural speed, and um, ever since been in the gym, me and Ricky's always worked natural speed. And he said that's your best attribute. So. I'm never going to change. No point in changing your style, is it? Nah, it's I'm working gonna... for me so far, you know, 10 and 0, I'm beaten, so yeah, 10 and 0. I'm going to, going to keep keep to that. It's, that. it's that kind of fluidity that I like in a heavyweight, and, I, and it's a rare old thing, and I mean it. Some heavyweights learn it over time. Joshua's becoming more fluid. Lennox Lewis became more fluid as yeah. his career went on. This kid's nice and fluid. Yeah, I think you've got to go with what, what like you said, natural speed. Yeah. So if you've got natural speed, you, you stick to that. I think you have to adapt a little bit as you, if you step up in, in levels. You, know, you can't go 12 rounds on your top when no, you can. It's been done, but it's yeah. difficult for big yeah. guys. So you have to plant your feet a little bit more as you get as you go along, and I'm sure you will. You don't need to because you're knocking people yeah. out anyway. It's not, not bad for being on the balls of your feet and knocking people out, to be honest. That's, no, that's natural part. Yeah, yeah, of course. But listen, you you work your strength, and yours is clearly hand speed. You have exceptionally fast hands for a big fella, and and it shows in your fights.